It looks like our ad-free binging days are over. Well, kinda, as Netflix prepares to launch its new ad-supported plan in the United States, after debuting in the Canadian and Mexican markets. The streaming platform is set to compete with other major services that offer ad-supported options, such as HBO Max, Hulu, and others. In this video, we'll talk about Netflix's new ad-supported tier and how they've cut out major shows from this plan. First up, let's take a look at the new plan. Netflix's ad-supported plans are finally upon us, and there's no going back from here. Rumors about the new ad-supported tier have plagued us for months, until Netflix finally broke its silence and confirmed the news not so long ago. Before you agree or disagree with Netflix's decision to pile ads onto a basic plan, we want to make sure you have all the information necessary. This new plan will not feature everything, as we've seen before, and will, in fact, have fewer offerings overall. At least that's what it's looking like for the beginning of this new rollout. The Basic with Ads plan will now be available to subscribers in the UK, the US, Germany, Italy, France, Australia, Korea, Japan, and Brazil. With increasing competition from other streaming services like Disney+, Plus. Prime Video, and Hotstar, among others, Netflix reported a massive drop in their sea of subscribers. Earlier this year, the new plan is their way of tackling the loss of users, and the affordability factor of the Basic with Ads plan hopes to encourage more people to be able to get a membership. Well, whether people will be on board with the plan or not remains to be seen in the near future. Coming up with Netflix's history of advertising, the world's largest subscription streaming service grew into a giant, partly thanks to its smart strategy of making TV shows and movies available to watch in ad-free binges. Netflix positioned itself in an era when traditional and commercially packed TV was the main way people opted to watch their entertainment programs. Enter Netflix with an alternative way of watching your favorite programs without interrupting their flow with advertisements. Nor would it make you wait an entire week on tenterhooks after a particular episode ended on a terrifying cliffhanger. After building a behemoth reputation for itself after going against the grain of the traditional television industry, Netflix spent years dismissing the very idea of advertising on its own platform. How life has come full circle for them. Let's take a look at what's changed today. Fast forward to today. It looks like Netflix is actually the one that's behind the times. Compared to everyone else, nearly every major media company in Hollywood right now has launched its very own streaming platform to take on the once formidable giant. This includes Apple's foray into Apple TV which has been quite a success since its launch. Disney Plus, HBO Max, and Paramount Plus, among others. As all of these kept rolling out, they introduced features that users have now become accustomed to, including the option to pay less money if you can stomach watching the ads. Nearly every Netflix competitor has an ad-supported tier now that's a lot cheaper than the rest of their plans. Now, with their membership in decline after nearly a decade, they've decided to reverse the course and add advertising as well. They've got to keep the lights on, too. Up next, let's discuss the pricing. For years, the streaming platform has resisted the urge to put any sort of advertising on the platform, but it looks like it can no longer afford to. With their first foray into ad-supported space, the subscribers in the U.S. can expect to pay $6.99 per month for the new plan. The basic with ads tier is $13 less than Netflix's premium plan, $9 less than the standard one, and only $3 less than the basic plan without ads. The company claims that it wouldn't be raising prices of its other ties, like Disney+, Plus, which has announced to do so in the near future when it launches its own ad plan. The ad-supported tier is part of a launch plan from Netflix that aims to crack down on all the password sharing that's been happening on their platform. So the next time you log into Netflix and find yourself suddenly kicked off your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend's plan, don't be surprised. It's all part of the plan. Moving on to the number of ads we can expect to see. Netflix is set to push people who've been borrowing and sharing accounts to create their own profiles. But at the same time, they're also planning to give account holders who share their passwords the ability to pay a little extra to have friends and family on their account. The basic with ads plans make your viewing experience pretty similar to that of watching YouTube without a premium membership. Annoying, but maybe you'll get used to it. 
Netflix claims that they plan to introduce four to five minutes of ads every hour. Similar to standard web ads, you'll be able to pause them, but you won't be able to skip them. And at 15 to 30 seconds of ad duration, that's just enough time to go grab your second bowl of popcorn. Let's look at the silver lining, okay? Following up with what the ads will look like. This will include ads that will surprise you before a movie or an episode or even in the middle of one. Netflix also has a counter on the top right to help subscribers understand how much of the ad is left to resume their movies or TV shows. Apparently at the moment, there seems to be no consistency to the ads, as Netflix begins to test out the optimum timings and results. That also means that the ads will be generic for now, but Netflix is expected to implement more targeted advertising later on. Eventually, you'll be seeing more relevant ads, if you're subscribed to the plan, based on your location and the genres you prefer. Let's take a look at some of the drawbacks. Despite the affordable price tag, the Basic with Ads plan unfortunately has a few other drawbacks. Some of the content originally available on Netflix just isn't accessible with this plan. The streaming platform claims that subscribers won't have access to about 5 to 10 percent of the content catalog mostly due to licensing restrictions. This includes popular shows such as Arrested Development and movies like the hit classic Skyfall. Movies and shows that aren't part of the ad-supported tier will be marked with a lock to indicate these can be accessed but not on this particular plan. Netflix will allow their users to click on the lock, which will show them options to upgrade to a higher plan under different tiers if they want to access all the content. Basic with ads also has a lower video quality over Overall, streaming at 720p HD, and users will only be able to stream from a single device. Users opting for Netflix's current cheapest plan won't be able to download their favorite TV shows and movies on any of their devices for offline viewing. That's definitely a bummer. Next, how can you make the switch? If you're one of those people who are looking to save $3 each month, switching your account is a fairly simple process. The process is the same as it has always been. And as a user, you only need to sign in to your existing account on either your computer or a smartphone and search for plan details. You'll find the existing options for all their tiers under your account settings, and there'll be an option to select Change Plan, and you'll be able to choose from all four of the streaming giant's various tiers. Once you've chosen your ad-supported plan, the change will then come into effect at your next billing date. Following up, will the ad-supported tier bring Netflix the success they're looking for? Whether this new campaign is successful for Netflix or not remains to be seen, but it'll definitely be interesting to note how many new consumers will choose to opt for the cheapest tier plan. As a user, you can also opt to switch out your current plan and save a little bit on your monthly streaming bill, even if it means sitting through a couple of ads. An analyst from J.P. Morgan, Doug Anmuth, believes that Netflix's ad-supported tier will help the platform gain up to 8 million new subscribers in the United States and Canada, with an estimated cost of $600 million in advertising sales. If he ends up being right, this could be huge for Netflix. Finally, after two bad quarters, is this the strategy they need? The streaming platform has been desperately searching for revenue and subscribers after two consecutively bad quarters. Earlier this year, their global subscriber base fell by 1.2 million, but will launching an ad-supported tier alone help solve all of the problems Netflix currently has? If we're being realistic, probably not. This is primarily why the company plans to eventually monetize the password-sharing concept on the platform by early 2023 with their extra member fee for creating sub -account. Well, it looks like Netflix decided to say, if you can't beat them, join them. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any thoughts about these new ad-supported plans from Netflix? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.